Stay tuned to find out how you can win a mystery box curated by your girl. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, my ice cream beauty bag is here. Well, she's actually been here for a couple of days. I just haven't gotten around to filming her. But we're gonna go ahead and get into her today. I am super excited. You know, ice cream beauty always comes through. I think maybe there've been a few bad items, but the bag itself was always getting a good overall rating. I didn't even realize this had a little rippy tab. Was this there the whole time? I have no idea, but I just discovered this. So I'm gonna be looking to see if this is on all of them. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. The first item that I'm pulling out is by Mirabella. Mirabella! And this is the Pro Sculpt Clear Brow Gel. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna be honest, I don't use brow gels, okay? It's it's not my stilo. I, I'm, not, I'm just not that girl. I am gonna open this just to look at the packaging, but then I'm gonna put it right back in here and we're gonna put this in one of the future giveaways. Ooh, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. This is nice. I think that that is so pretty, very sleek, and it just says Pro Sculpt Brow Gel. Like I said, because I'm putting it in the giveaway, I'm not going to like expose the bristles and all that stuff. I'm just not gonna do that, that'd be gross. But yeah, very cute, nice little brow gel that hopefully one of y'all will enjoy. The next item that I'm pulling out is the Kiss by Mirabella. Okay, so we had a little, little takeover. This is a lipstick and it is in sugar and Spice. Ooh, very pretty. This is what the packaging is looking like. Very cute. Ooh, <laughs> okay. This is bougie. I am absolutely in love. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. And then you can't really see it, but it has Mirabella engraved in like the gold band. Bruh, that is so freaking cute. Isn't that stunning? This is probably one of my favorite lipstick containers that I've gotten. That is absolutely beautiful. This is looking a little bit more for like winter, fall. So I don't know why they would include a color this dark when it's basically spring. That is absolutely pretty. Wouldn't need a lip line at all. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. It went on super smooth and it's just, it's just stunning. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's just really stunning. But this probably won't be my go-to girl until fall and winter. And last but certainly not least, Let's get into the palette. Now the palette is super freaking cute. Get into it. Look at that iridescence. And then I think it's so cute that it's like a cassette tape. Very adorable. And it's called Give Me More by Trend Beauty. Yeah, this packaging is everything. This compared to the packaging that was on the Lady Bugalo, where it looked like it was just printed out from someone's computer. Very stark difference. I'm surprised that they didn't put this one in the box and then put the other one in the bag. Like it would have made more sense that the more expensive box came with a higher quality palette, but that's just me. This is what she looks like. This is the color story. Absolutely beautiful. This is giving spring. I think that the lip color should have been something more vibrant, something brighter to kind of complement the palette. Cause right now the looks that I would come up with for this palette really won't go with a lip unless I was on this side, like I did a look with just this. That's the only way I can make like, like an eyeshadow look that would look good with that lip color. I'm thinking today we're not gonna play with her cause I, I think it would just be disjointed. And the last video I did, I did a purple look anyway. So I really don't wanna do purple. So we're gonna play with this eyeshadow palette. Unfortunately, that's the only thing we're gonna play with today. I might have some other new products that I wanna try. I'll let y'all know. Let's go ahead and get into this try on. Oh, wait, I didn't do the prices. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting ahead of myself. What? Are you serious? You're gonna flip out when you see the price on this. And it's just, it's not gonna make logical sense when you think of the price of the other palette, which was much smaller than this and then kind of cheaply made. This Trend Beauty Give Me More palette is $12. I think the other one was like $32 or $42, the like Lady Bugalo one. I'm sorry, I would be more likely to pay $32, well, depending on how the shadows form perform. I don't know why I said form. Depending on how the shadows perform, um, yeah, I would much, much more like, I would, what are words? I would be much more likely to pay $32 for this one as opposed to the Lady Bugalo one. 
I hate to I hate to be that girl and be mean, but it's the truth. I, I gotta keep it a buck with y'all. The next item, which is the Mirabella Beauty Sealed with a Kiss lipstick. And this is going to be $22. I would pay $22 for this. Look at how bougie this is. And honestly, I wanna see if they have more colors because this is really pretty. I would love to have like just the full collection of lippies with this beautiful bullet. Like that is so pretty to me. And finally, the Mirabella Beauty Pro Sculpt clear brow gel is going to be $18. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and do some swatches and then we're gonna get into the try on. I like, I completely skipped over a bunch of stuff and was like, wait, put the makeup on. I'm not gonna swatch the entire thing because that's a lot. Like this what, three, six, 12, 18, 18 shadows, that's a lot. I'm not doing all 18. I'm gonna choose a few that I'm excited about and then we're gonna get into the try on. So I will be right back. These are the swatches watches. They're absolutely stunning. That pressed glitter is mermaid on steroids, right? Like that is absolutely beautiful. Like look at that shift. The mattes were okay. A little bit patchy, but not super, super. Hell is super. Not super bad. So they're definitely workable. This darker shade is so gorgeous. I'm just so trash at doing like darker eye colors that I'm probably not going to touch that one until I, you know, do some research and learn how to actually eyeshadow they can charge way more than $12 for this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and put some things on my face and then I'm gonna come back with some products for us to try. To celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers, I'm hosting a special giveaway exclusively for the Faybays. Fill out the entry form located in the description below and leave a comment on any of my videos between now and April 4th for your chance to win a mystery box curated by your girl. Two winners will be chosen at random. Remember, only one submission per subscriber. Now back to the video. And I'm back. Okay, I already did my foundation and, you know, concealer and all that stuff and obviously the blush. Your girl loves to be borderline jigsaw. Now, I'm actually gonna go into another new product, not from my ice cream beauty bag. This one is actually gonna be from my latest mystery bag from Ipsy. And this is the Danessa Myricks Wet Dew Balm or Dew Wet Balm. <laughs> and this is just like a balmy highlighter. And I'm just gonna try it over this blush and see, see what's happening. This is what she looks like. That is so satisfying. So let me just see, ooh, see what that does. I mean, I see it. Oh no, that looks jacked up. <laughs> let me see if I can kind of diffuse that a little bit. I might have messed up putting it on my nose. Hopefully the powder kind of diffuses that a little bit, but on the cheeks, it looks really pretty. I like her. I just need to learn how to use her better. On the nose is a hell no. On the cheeks, ooh, we love her on the cheeks, but you see how it like turned all this red? So it looks like I got like a cold, like a real cold. Definitely adds a nice illumination. I wonder how it's gonna stand up once I put the powder on. Like y'all know, when you put powder over, you know, cream products, they just don't pop as much as you would like them to. So we'll see how it kind of holds up and go from there. Hopefully the powder can fix this. And I'm back. All right, y'all, I went ahead and put some bronzer on, did my eyebrows, and I concealed my eyelid because we're gonna be working with lighter colors and I really, really want them to show up. First and foremost, I need to clean my brush. Yeah, that's the first thing I need to do is clean my brush. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this color right here cause it's a little bit more neutral. I'm just gonna kind of brush that over like this. It's going on really nicely. All right, now that our transition shade is down, we're actually gonna try to do something fun. Since there's so many beautiful like rainbow pastel kind of colors, I kind of want to do like an ombre effect. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. I wanna do like an ombre effect. All right, using my little itty bitty brush, I'm actually gonna go in with this orange shade right here. I'm gonna just kinda lay that on the inside right here. Wait, let me bring y'all in a little closer. I'm like over here leaning forward. I'm just gonna put that right on the inside. All right, so far, so good. Definitely gotta clean off my brush. Next, I am going to go into this yellow shade right here.
Now these colors probably would pop even better if I use like a white base, but I don't have that, okay? I don't have a white base that I can kind of put over my eyelid. So we're just gonna have to work with what we get working with. You know, it might not be as vibrant, but hopefully it'll still be nice and pretty. Next, I'm gonna go into this green shade right here. And just lay that next to the yellow. This might look like clown makeup. Oof. No, we're not going for clown. We're going for high fashion. Now we're gonna go into a blue. Now, because the greens are a little bit darker, I'm gonna opt for this blue right here instead of like the more pastel-y kind of blues. Oh, that blue is pigmented. I don't think that's lining up exactly. So this might look a little, a little clownish. It's already looking very clownish right now. This wouldn't be a palette error. This would be a Sandra error. I'm gonna dip into, I'm gonna dip into this green first and then I'm gonna dip into this one to kind of deepen it up. I guess we're, we're going for Bozo today. The, the green is kind of taking over the blue. Like you can't even really see it. This is wild. I'm gonna try to reintroduce that blue. Now you can't see the other green. I think I've kind of given up on it. I think this is just gonna be like a weird, a weird look. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess next I'm gonna just go into this deeper shade right here. It is a little patchy, but not too bad. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. This looks crazy. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm gonna try to like blend this outward. I think this orange and yellow would have looked so pretty by itself. You know what I mean? I think this look is cooked, okay? This look is cooked. It's not gonna look good with the lippy that I chose. This is a bust. I guess we're just gonna do shower makeup, okay? The makeup you do when you about to go in the shower. So I'm actually gonna try to make this even more fun and put this blue underneath right here. Ooh, I don't know why I said ooh, it looks terrible. Since this is already a train wreck, we're gonna go ahead and put this pink in our inner corner. I just realized this entire look is mad. There's not a shimmer in sight. Now we look like a tropical bird. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and we'll come back and look at the devastation. The train wreck, we'll see what it looks like once the wreckage has finally come to a stop. And I'm back. I tried to salvage the look as much as I could. I'm probably just look like a whole clown right now. The final thing that I'm actually gonna try out is something I got from Timu. If you hear that noise, that's baby girl, she's playing. You know, she got a little, little learning box thing and she's playing with it. So that's the little background noise you might be hearing. This is the Mia Show Shiny Neon Lipstick. Anyways, this is the Mia, wait, where's the logo? The Mia Show, and it's just like a cute little lipstick. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. And I don't think it actually goes down like a funny color. Well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, hopefully it brings this look together, I don't know. The look is kind of disjointed and crazy and all over the place, and I probably look like a clown, but you know, it's all in good fun. Definitely doesn't go with the look, but I don't think the look goes with the look. Definitely looks like a clown. I tried my best, y'all. I wanted to play with the colors and do like some pops and you know what I mean? Like have fun with it. I was trying to have fun and just, you know, play around with the colors, but it just turned into a murky green patchy mess. I'm gonna have to play around with this palette again and give it another try, okay? Cause I, I think this was a fail. You know, not everything can be perfect and just beautiful all the time. Sometimes you gotta, you know, jack yourself up to learn how to do things better. That was everything in my, I was gonna say Mystery Ipsy again. I need to stop filming those videos. They're literally like taking over my whole life. That was everything in my ice cream beauty bag.
I don't know, I need to try the lipstick. Maybe the lipstick will make me feel better about this bag. I definitely want to play around with these shimmers at some point. I'm gonna put that in my redemption pile. We're gonna give her another try and see if I can make a more wearable look. Something that I'll be like, ooh, stunt on the gram. With that being said, if you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Faye Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.